looking at a TWP 024. I hear some yelling. Uh -oh. Trouble in paradise. Anyway, breakers tripped on this unit. During preventive maintenance last year, the compressor sounded very rough. So we'll see if we have a grounded compressor. Well, I put the mega ohm meter on the unit between the contactor, which is a single pole contactor. So you have access to the whole system through there. I put it to ground and it didn't show uh, a bad reading like you would expect. In fact, it was in the good range. But the breaker's still tripping, so we might go back to the fact that the breaker might be the faulty part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect, or pull the disconnect out here because we have no power because the breaker's tripped. And I'm going to see if the breaker trips with the disconnect pulled out, meaning there's no flow of electricity to the unit. So is there any issue as far as the breaker is just the faulty part of the system? So we'll see. I went back up and reset the breaker. See our compressor is not running. Our bracket seems to have fallen off the hard start too. When our compressor tries to start. You know, it draws so much amperage that I'm sure that is what tripped this breaker to begin with. But right now it's not even trying to run again. We'll see this compressor might be shot, but we're gonna have to check things out on a little closer level. See ya. <laughs> so we might have a defective hard start as well but it doesn't matter it's not really starting that well and it sounded bad last year so it's probably death for the compressor. We have our star capacitor the resistor in between was already cut so we went ahead and checked it here as you see we have zero microfarads which is very well it's about as bad as it gets. We're going to check the regular capacitor too we're going to strap a new hard start in here to see if that'll get this thing moving. It is a reciprocating compressor. We're not up against the TXV, so the refrigerant pressure should be both low and balanced. So I would have thought it would have started anyway, but we're gonna see, because this compressor sounded very bad last year. We took our hard start out. What I'm doing now is I'm taking some of the compressor leads off this, our start winding, going to our common over here, which is jumping into all these other wires at the contactor, seeing if we have continuity between them, and we do. Just want to make sure we don't have a burned off wire causing an issue. We're also going to check continuity to um, the run winding as well. Make sure there is continuity there. Guys, if you look up in here, right inside of here, you may or may not be able to see that flag terminal. It looks kind of rough. We have a burned off wire up there at the top of the contactor. We're going to have to remake that as well. All right, guys, our fan side of the dual run is a little weak as well. So I'm pretty much going to replace the capacitor, the hard start. I ought to replace the contactor, too, because it looks like hell. But I'd like to know if it, things are even going to start up first. So I might wait to do that until we're all done, uh, if it's even necessary. So I'm going to get to work, and I'm going to separate it into two capacitors because it's a... Uh, 35 slash 4, so I'm just going to use a 35 and a 4 and separate them. Guys, we have our capacitor for the compressor and our capacitor for the fan mounted inside. That's our start winding wire run to the capacitor from the compressor. We'll have to jump across the run wire across to the contactor. I have to do the same thing with the run wire for the fan motor. And this is our start wire for the fan motor right here, which will go on the other side of the capacitor. So we're going to go ahead and get down to that, then we can move on to the hard side. Alright guys, we have our new redesigned instrument cabinet here. We have our fan motor, capacitor, run, and start. We have our 521 hooked up. Black wire to the contactor on the common side. Red wire to the dual run, it's not dual run anymore, single run capacitor on the run side. And the start yellow wire for the 521 over here with the orange wire which is the start wire with the compressor on the capacitor. Those jump are over to the contactor on the run side and you see the run wire for the compressor is here. So we're going to start things off and see what happens. thought I'd do a video of this thing firing off if it's even going to happen. Or maybe I'll get a video of the explosion and it'll go viral. Dear God. It's actually running. We'll see how long she lasts. 
As you guys can see, we are not looking too stellar as far as charge. Our Targa Super is 22. And, oh, it's chilly outside. You know, it's in upper 50s. Uh, really not ideal for charging and cooling, and it really needs a good bath. But we can do a little bit better than it is now until we have a chance to take it apart and clean it, which will be never, if I'm guessing correctly. But I can still say it needs it. Guys, we're sealing things up here. We brought our superheat down to the target level, uh, even though it is kind of cold out here. We have, we had like a 63 pound suction and only like 130, 135 pound head. Cause like I said, it is very cool outside today, even with our blocked up coil. We have our line with, I'm sure we have a leak right in this area. Cause you see all the oil and dirt right there and the pinched off suction valve because they are sitting there. But there's no point in searching for leaks that no one's going to repair. I'll let them know that there's an issue. If they want to pursue it, I will. Hopefully the thing has changed out here because I'm all for repair, but this thing's kind of spent.